Good evening. It is Tuesday. I'm just about to hit the weights, do uh, a little uh, weightlifting session today. Uh, I didn't do anything yesterday on Monday, and that was just because of the previous day, Sunday's session, interval session, which was kind of a surprise to me uh, because of the 10 versus 6 intervals, which I expected. I don't know why I didn't check the planning at all before going out. Uh, but I did it, so that was good. Uh, the other thing, though, that happened was that I felt uh, that my the temperature of my body uh, dropped drastically. So that's why also today no uh, running, but rather weights inside to give my body one additional day of rest uh, in terms of the temperature uh, also. Yep, let's do it. <music> So now, without any rest, or virtually any rest, I should go and do the next exercise. But this time, it'd be the rowing, because I've got the way it's prepped. Let's do it. So, the last one, inverted push-ups. I'm already after round two of this, so two more to go, and we're done for the day. Hi, it is Friday. I didn't do anything other than one training session throughout the whole week it's been uh, a total chaos when it comes to work this week so Friday and over the weekend I hope to do three running sessions today the first one I'll just get an easy run in to uh, move around it's already uh, I think some I don't know 8 something p.m. so uh, Maybe not a long one, but just, again, five to eight kilometers of an easy run to get going. Tomorrow, some intervals, probably, and then Sunday, maybe a longer run. We'll see. For now, let's hit the road. Later. So, I am done. Uh, I did one mile, three minutes of rest, and then another mile. The first one was a little bit faster, 4.45. So considering the slippery ground, I did it almost as good as the last benchmark. So pretty good. And the second one was a little bit slower. I think uh, around five, or maybe even 5.05 minutes per kilometer. Still, it is pretty good because it is slippery. I didn't want to record anything while I was running and that's just because I would probably fall, fall down and it would be a lot worse. So better to be safe rather than sorry. Good that it's in, the run is checked. So tomorrow hopefully a little bit more running or body weight or weightlifting and Sunday I would love to get a longer run in but depending on the weather and the surface, you might want to reconsider that. We'll see. For now, take care. See you tomorrow.
Hi, it is Sunday afternoon, 4.20 p.m. I only trained twice this week and one of it was weightlifting and the other one was a run and on a very slippery ground. The weather is still minus 17 and very slippery, very uh, icy. Uh, we were just driving now and it was like a really slippery on the roads and the same is on the pavements. I won't run. I want to do another session today. I will probably won't hit the weights if I will instead do a bodyweight uh, training. I've got a very nice freeletics training that is very short but effective uh, and targeting the lower body which for my legs is really good as the amount of running this week was not that big. Now I really like at first I thought like I really don't like this uh, this past week this week that's uh, just ending and uh, because yeah the training didn't go as I expected the amount of recordings I wanted to do it didn't go as expected but in the end this this is what it is sometimes it's going to be like this nothing I can do about it the good thing is that still it will be three sessions uh, during the week I did a lot at work I did a lot at home so uh, just a fraction of it is the actual training. Uh, so for now, the body weight training, and then we'll wrap up the week. See ya. Oh, by the way, uh, I thought it might be good to uh, talk just a bit about the general plan of how the week should go if I'm not interrupted with crazy amount of work and all this stuff. So in general, what I plan to do is for that half marathon training, I'm following a plan, a specific plan. Uh, it assumes I'll get into the plan maybe in the next episode. Uh, but it is Jeff Galloway's plan of run, walk, run method. And it is not because I like the method or whatever. I'd never tried it. But the Garmin watch I've got has the uh, function of planning the uh, training for events. And so I choose that. Uh, plan and I wanted to have three training sessions, running sessions, so that was the only plan. I picked it up and later on I noticed Jeff Galloway's plan, so I followed that. I'll give you some insights on how it looks like. Maybe you'll like it as well. But in the end, those are three sessions per week. I'll uh, at some point go through the plan and the types of exercises or the trainings, the runs that are there in that plan, but basically there are three uh, training sessions, running sessions per week, and that's my plan for the upcoming months up until May where uh, when the uh, half marathon takes place and then uh, to add to that I would like to get three weightlifting sessions per week so in total six training sessions and one day of rest uh, that probably won't happen always for now because of the amount of time I've got uh, I was talking about this probably in the previous episode already but I try to incorporate those three training sessions, weightlifting sessions as well. If I cannot do something, I'll replace it uh, with the body weight session, which is a little bit, probably a little bit less uh, stressful. But uh, sometimes if I lack time, then I can do a quick session to just replace it. Sometimes I will give up some of those sessions, but at least when the weather will be a little bit better, I will for sure stick to that at least three times a week running. That's the basis. Let's finally hit the bodyweight training. It will be Freeletics Athena workout. You can get that for free. Uh, you don't have to pay for that. You got a sim like simple workouts uh, listed and you've got an access to some of them. And Athena is one of my fav favorite workouts for lower body. I'll walk you through it uh, as uh, we train, but those are three exercises only. Really nice. Short one, but effective. Let me show you. Later. You didn't even probably notice when I dressed like this, right? <laughs> well, you probably did. So, first, let's do a quick warm up, and it will be just a simple 50 jumping jacks, 25 supported squats, and 20 or 30 uh, mountain climbers. Let me show you. Let's go.
10 flights of stairs by doing jumping jacks. Nice, huh? So, the warm-up is done. I'll probably take the mat. We'll see how it uh, behaves for training because as you see, as you have seen, it's slippery. It's, everything is slippery this winter. Hold on. Okay, now the main part or the Athena workout. It consists of three exercises. First, there is a uh, 25 climbers and climbers are a little bit tougher than the previous mountain climbers, you'll see in a minute. Then you've got 25 uh, sit-ups, just regular sit-ups, you'll see. And then 25 squats, regular squats. Now, after those three 25s, you're doing 25 seconds of rest and then you do the same thing 20 times, meaning 20 climbers, 20 sit-ups, 20 uh, squats, and then 20 seconds rest. And then you go down to 15 with a 15 seconds rest, then to 10 with a 10 seconds rest, and to five with a five seconds rest. Well, at the end, it's the end of the workout. So let's go, that's a good one. That was the Athena workout. Really nice, fast, because I don't know if it takes 10 minutes to do, even if you do some warm up and cool down, uh, stretching at the end, it will take you maybe 20, 25 minutes max. Quick one, effective, really like it. Now some stretching, shower and rest. That's it.